exercise timer can work in two ways. By default, if you don't create an account, all your workouts, training plans, and history will be stored on just your phone. In the latest release of Exercise Timer, we are offering the possibility of creating an Exercise Timer account. This will allow you to sync all your workouts, training plans, and history across your devices. If you haven't created an account yet, go to the More menu and tap Sign In. You can either log in with Facebook or create an account using your email. Once your account is created, Exercise Timer will ask you if you wish to transfer the existing workouts, training plans, and history on your device to your account. If you press OK, all your data will be backed up on the cloud. If you press Delete, you will start off with a fresh account and all your current workouts on your phone will be deleted. With an Exercise Timer account, a copy of all your workouts and plans are still stored on your device. So, if there's no internet at the gym, you can still perform your workout. In the History tab of Exercise Timer, you will find all the past workouts you did. If you click on any workout, you can see the exercises you did in that session sorted by duration. If you tap on the Edit button, you can modify the note and other information in the session. If we go back, in the top of the screen, you can see the number of hours you worked out throughout the week. You can change this to calories or number of workouts by pressing on the values. From here, you can also filter by week, month, year, and even overall. Premium users can track the top exercises. These are the exercises you spend the most time on. You can see the total duration, total number of reps, and calories burned by the specific exercise. We'll be adding more features to this section in the near future. That's all in this tutorial. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this.